What's the difference between having a missing angle versus having a missing side um, using sine, cosine, and tangent? Uh, one of them is going to use the inverse button, the other is not. So sometimes you'll use the sine button in your calculator, other times you're going to use the inverse sign. The inverse sign is used with the missing angle. And we'll see why. It has to do with separating the variable. So a missing angle would look like this. Sine of x equals whatever the decimal is. A missing side will actually have the angle already there, like sine of 38 degrees. So we could see the difference. One has a variable next to the sign, and you need to we're going to have to separate that. The other one already does have the angle degree. So x is already separated from the word. There's no x connected to sine or cosine or tangent. So that's a big difference. As we're solving the algebra portion of the first one, we would inverse both sides. What this does is it cancels the word sine and it gives us our variable x by itself. It makes it so that we've solved for x. So what we'll see here is that we're going to have to push the inverse sine button in our calculator when we solve for a missing angle. When we solve for a missing side, we could actually multiply both sides by 10 and get x alone. So x is already by itself. And so we're going to just use the sine button when we put sine of 38. So one will use the inverse, the other will not. So let's take a look at how we would do that. If you're using an, uh, an iPhone or an, a Mac calculator on a MacBook, to get the first one, we want to first put the decimal, point two, three, four, five. Oops, I forgot the decimal. Point two, three, four, five. And then we're going to click the second button. So now we could see sine negative one, cosine negative one, tangent negative one. Ours is sine, so we're going to click that. And I'll get 13.56 degrees. 13.56 degrees. Okay, that's if we round it to the nearest whole degree, we get 14 degrees. If you're using an Android, you would actually not put the decimal first. You would first click inverse, and you'll see sine negative 1 comes up. Then you'll put the decimal, 0 0.2345. Then you'll push equal. Uh, make sure we're using our degrees in our calculator, not radians. So the Android version might look something like this, like, like the calculator on Google. So here we're going to need to make sure two things. Number one, our degrees is pushed, which this one is now showing degrees. And our inverse button on our iPhone is our second button. That's going to end up giving us sign to the negative one when we push that. So let's try it. I'm going to push inverse of sine, and I believe it was 0.2345. So this comes up saying arc sine. It's the same as sine to the negative 1. And we get 13.56 degrees. So we still get the same amount. So in the iPhone, you're going to see the button will say second. On the Android, the button, I believe, says inverse. Okay, those are what help get us the options of sine negative 1, cosine negative 1, tangent negative 1. Those are when we have a variable connected. We end up using that to separate the variable and get the variable by itself. So when we have the letter like x connected to sine, we had to inverse both sides and use sine to the negative 1. When we already had a number, we just punch that number into the calculator. So let's do this missing side example. So this one says sine of 38. X is already alone. So I'm just going to put 38 and make it sine. Oftentimes, 0.6156. So it's 10 times 0.6516. And X becomes 6.5 if we round it.
So when sine was a number already, sine of 38, we don't need to push the second button. So let's see how that looks on the browser. Uh, what was the degree? Sine of 38 degrees. So in this case, I'm going to make sure degrees are pushed. Sine of 38. And we get 0.6156, the same amount. So on this Android calculator, you actually push the word sine first, or cosine, or tangent, then you enter the decimal. On the iPhone, you would put the 38 degrees first, then click the sine afterwards. So there is a small difference. Hopefully that helps to clarify a little bit for us.